let's start the 4th of July video with what is an amazing sight. That, my friends, is the Ocklawaha River. Now, normally, that would not be visible. <laughs> Look at it. It's just about out of the banks, and we've got a potential uh, tropical storm on the way. So we could see the river come out of the banks here. But uh, anyway, I'm going to turn around and get a selfie here. Just wanted to talk things about things on the 4th of July and probably wondering, hey, that cybersecurity guy, why aren't you out enjoying the 4th of July and, uh, and uh, watching some fireworks somewhere? Well, it's just the, the nature of the beast, and we'll get into that. And unfortunately, you'll have to look at my ugly mug rather than this beautiful scenery here in just a few. But I just thought I'd get to the look. Uh, now, am I enjoying my 4th of July? Oh, hell yeah. It's been raining for two solid weeks. And uh, I got my umbrella, my samurai umbrella strapped on my back just in case, because you can see the clouds, it's threatening. About 20, 30% chance, that's about the best you can do this time of the year here in Florida. And, uh, but man, I'm telling you, I, I've been cooped up in the house for, but I mean, it was good. I, I had a lot of stuff to get, get done around the house. Uh, I started packing to get on the road for a couple of months. I uh, have a feeling that uh, we'll see if it's a couple months, uh, but that's what I'm preparing for. Uh, it's hard to pack for that long a period of time, especially when you're going to be camping and hiking. And, uh, well, you know, if the weather's bad, hotel rooms. <laughs> that's roughing it there. But uh, anyway, we'll get to the, uh, the, the 4th of July video momentarily. And before we get into the video... I can't believe it. I know it's been raining a hell of a lot, but this is one of the driest trails because you can see it just, uh, it's on a hill and so the water just flows down into the river on both sides. But look at this. Holy moly, never thought. I mean, it's been wet. I mean, when this road is wet, this this thing dries out super quick. But I, I'm going to be hiking through the mud right here. And uh, once we get to the uh, the prairie up there, we'll we'll get to work on the video but I just thought you had to see this and uh, I think I may get a look down the river up ahead here a little ways but let's get through the mud first here look at that holy moly this is just how much rain we've had here in Florida Whew, I'm a good mile or two up in here it is humid look at that well this is what we're breaking out into and this is what I've been waiting for to make the video and uh, hopefully we're gonna get a look down the river up here uh, maybe I'll just take the stick out all the way but look at this mud oh my god this thing this trail is, is well it's just supposed to be super dry but I thought you'd get that beautiful view this is why I hike the Akloa River Trail uh, not expecting to be off trail <laughs> in the mud over here but uh, boy you can tell holy moly all right, let's see if we can get around all this, and then actually we'll come up to a road up there, and at that point I won't have to be worried about stepping in mud puddles and, and everything else. But man, look at that. Look at that view. All right. All right, so let's just get a quick look on the video. I got the selfie stick out, so we'll whip it around here in just a second. Look at that sun peeking over the, the overcast here. And like I told you, we break out into the main road. Look at all them people. Whew. I got so many people to hike through. Let's look back where we came. Yeah, it was a bit muddy. Found if I just hike down on that bank side. But uh, they really just gonna have to stop cutting the grass until things dry out. Because they're really tearing up the, uh, the road here. Um, all right, let's get it around. So uh, there you go. Hopefully I got my ugly mug on, on the camera here. Kind of weird doing these selfies. I never thought in a million years. I always laughed at, ooh, let's get a selfie here, selfie there. All right, so uh, I just kind of wanted to wish everybody a happy 4th of July and get into just a few things. Uh, I may or may not have sold my car today. Uh, the guy seemed a very good gentleman. Um, but I wanted to just talk a little bit about uh, integrity, honesty, uh, and, you know, a couple things about selling your car. We've been kind of going on that theme. Uh, you know, luckily I had real good documentation. Um, turns out this guy was a mechanic. 
and uh, so boy, so he really knew what to look for. He he spotted the fact those tires. Uh, and now I would have gone another, you know, in my opinion, there's another year or two left on those tires. But he's his his wife's going to drive the car. He wants to put new tires on it. Now I don't know if he could get some money for them because those tires are not dry rotted at all. They got pretty good tread left, and you could retread those, uh, which is what I imagine uh, any place that uh, he he buys tires from is going to do. So they can resell those tires for maybe a couple hundred as a retread. Or maybe he'll just retread them himself being an experienced mechanic. Um, so that's uh, that's the first thing, you know. And uh, So what I did, you know, I had it for sale for, you know, up near uh, the Kelly Blue Book right in between. And then uh, I dropped uh, the price down because I'm trying to get it sold before I get up to Virginia. And I had a real good offer, but uh, the guy was in a hurry and... I wanted to see, I just placed an ad on uh, Auto Trader. I wanted to see what would develop with that. And uh, so I said, you know, can't you wait the weekend? And, you know, sometimes it's, the guy on the phone sounded really, really good. And uh, I guess his kid needed the car super fast. And anyway, I just uh, didn't make the sale. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I should have done that. But I got a, just a tad bit better price. So it was. It was worth waiting for it, uh, you know, and I'll drop the price down to cover the tires for this guy, uh, which is what you do. And if he finds anything else, you know, this is how you deal with people, you know. If he finds something else that uh, is wrong with the car, I'll give him even more off or I'll pay him back later, you know. Just because you sold a car doesn't mean you can't deal equitably with someone who bought your car, okay. Now, you get, you get people out there that are, pardon my French, assholes. You know, they're gonna come back oh geez I found a scratch you know screw you buddy but now if he finds something uh, like a, a mechanical or, or he had the brakes you know he didn't notice the brakes on the back and uh, I, I, I they had told me those need to be done at some point I thought they had about another year on him but he sounds like he wants to go ahead and do them um, so who knows you know he could get in get into those brakes and uh, you know he might uh, run into something and say hey you know I'd like a little bit of money because it cost me more to do those brakes than I thought. But him being a mechanic, I assume he can work his way through anything he runs into. But So I'm just telling you, you don't have to be a criminal to conduct business in an honorable fashion and everybody wins, you know. He, and he was okay, you know, we're going to go to my bank and, uh, and we'll deal with the money there. He wants to write a check. I will, you know, I will, as soon as my bank says everything is good, car is his uh, well, and then I also wanted to go in and uh, make sure the title gets uh, in his name properly and he appreciated that any good buyer is going to appreciate that because uh, they don't want to have any hassles with the, the title who knows you know I like I told him I may have a lien on the car or maybe some criminal out there has uh, you know conducted identity theft and he's taken out a lien on my car and I don't know anything about it so it's it's better to sit down with your buyer and the seller get that title all taken care of and make sure everything is good from the seller point of view and everything is good from the buyer's point of view and uh, and then you're good to go and yeah it's gonna take an hour out of my day and his day but it'll all be done at that point you know he's happy I'm happy and uh, hell I may meet the guy it sounds like he wants to do some hiking and uh, boy oh boy could I show him I, I gave him my YouTube channel and uh, let's just uh, pause briefly flip the phone up give you a view of what I'm seeing ah sorry about that video cut off on me huh isn't that beautiful we've been here before done this so it's not a hiking video I just thought and look at that river there's more of the sign of the river it is really up big time and boy that hurricane comes through this this is all gonna be underwater all right, so let's whip it back around. So uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, I made a, some two long videos on the new car. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, every every 10 minutes of video I put up for, for you guys, it's, it cost me an hour or two in editing and, and then rethinking it. And uh, so I'm going to redo the latest video. It's just too long. I tried to cover too many things about the uh, the Toyota Prius Prime, which is the my new car and uh so i'm going to break those out into individual videos so if you follow my channel um, and you see this video and, and you're interested in those uh, 
they'll get better. Uh, each time I do a video, I, there's something that I realized that was wrong, because I do watch my own videos occasionally. I don't spend a whole lot of time, but I want to make sure I didn't say anything wrong or, or look stupid or, or uh, you know, I have a copyright violation that YouTube didn't catch uh, or, you know, say a cuss word that I don't mind saying, you know. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, I do self-editing, you know, I try to keep things clean as best I can. I, you know, other than being a conservative, which, uh, <laughs> that does not in today's fashion probably couldn't get a job in these woke companies they'd look at me and say oh my god even if this guy's honest and he's honest Abe and uh, would never hurt a feather and and loves the environment and uh, all of these things but guess what he's a Trump he's a MAGA MAGA person make America great again I don't see anything wrong with that I'd say America first you know I want a strong military I want my police funded. I don't want open borders. You know, if you got a problem with that and you can't employ me because of those viewpoints, well, that's fine. I mean, I don't see where they have anything to, to do with how I do my job. It's just the thing, you know, the things that I think are important, which is being safe in your house. All right, so that's kind of it. Happy 4th of July, you guys. I'm out celebrating. If I really did sell the car, I'll know on Tuesday and, uh, and then we're going to get on the road. Um, you know, every every trip, I learn a little bit. Uh, I'll just hit you with the with the latest one. You know, everything for me, because I'm getting old. I'm getting old, man. Everything for me used to be about lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. And so I just threw away my old uh, my old backpack headlamp. I got drunk and busted. <laughs> that was after a long ass hike. The one, probably the most difficult hike of my life. That I was celebrating and had just a little bit too much but but it still worked you know and it was kind of like an old friend and it man it was a great headlamp at the time only weighed 3.5 ounces uh with batteries you know if you put the lithium batteries in there back then and uh but uh anyway it, it wouldn't work no more so i threw it in the garbage uh I, there's no way to recycle it that i know of maybe best buy might have i doubt it they probably would have just thrown it away because it was small you know so i went and looked and for a new headlamp and I'm more about camping now than I am about backpacking or hiking. I mean, well, hiking, of course. I'm way about hiking. But I mean, day hikes, you know, nothing. Maybe an overnight. Uh, I haven't done one in a while. But I would like to get out for an overnight. Uh. So anyway, I found this uh, headlamp and it's got the battery pack in the back. Now, what I look for is, uh, now I, I'm sure you guys are about going out and buying, well, you got a cell phone, right? Now, are you going to replace the battery in your cell phone? Huh? Uh, if you buy some of them solar lights that uh, you can't take apart, you gonna replace the battery in those? You're just gonna throw them away. Hmm? What about all those other? Uh, uh, how about your electric shaver? Okay, you gonna replace the battery in that? Just throwing it out. So we've. I think you know this is a Chinese conspiracy because <laughs> because we've engineered everything to be throw away. You can't even take it apart. And put the batteries in uh, a new set of batteries you know the device is still good a lot of times and and yet you know uh it, like for example I, I bought these solar lights and they take um double a batteries for the outside of my house for you know basically safety and also so you can see to put the damn key in the door i don't have a porch light uh, i could probably wire one up but uh yeah only so much you can do so uh but you know one of the things i wanted to make sure of was could i take it apart and replace the batteries and yes i could now they didn't make it easy i you know you got to take 16 screws out and pop that thing apart and it's not made to be taken apart and then you got to reseal it uh, so that it's somewhat waterproof uh but uh you could do it so the headlamp what i was getting to the headlamp has four double a batteries and uh they mount on the back of your head it's one of those ones that come over your head so you know, you're looking at it and you're going 8.5 ounces that's heavy as hell with the batteries oh my god you know you wouldn't ever wear something like that backpacking but you know what that's going to be great for camping and with those four double a batteries i bet that thing will last well i you can look at the specs on it at rei's website uh it, it lasts uh, a lot longer than than you know one with the three triple a or the four triple a batteries and uh, so it's mainly just for camping and for wearing around the house and whatnot. So once again, boom, added to the uh, the backpacking and camping gear. Every every trip is always something. 
something that breaks, something to replace, you know. I, I now dry, drew a dry run with everything. I, I <laughs> this is a funny story. And then this video will be over, I promise. I made it too long. I just, I get to rambling on. So, you know, I got out my hiking pants and I'd been trying, I tried them on, you know, this past summer and everything was good. I bought a couple of extra pair for that trip up to Lynchburg, Virginia back in September. And uh, so, you know, I just said, well, I better, better put them on, just make sure everything looks good. Nothing's ripped, you know. So, man, I put them on. I was like, man, these things are way, way too tight. And I was, I'd already packed them away. I, I was ready to go on the trip. Come to, <laughs> come to realize it. they were the hiking pants that I bought for my wife. <laughs> and, and luckily, I mean, if I had packed them, I would have been screwed on the trip, you know. So, uh, so yeah, you know, you always check your stuff out, you know. Are the batteries good? You know, is, is everything working? Well, that headlamp, right? I found the headlamp. It wasn't working. So, I, and did I have to buy a new one? I had some other cheap headlamps that we, but they're good for around the house. You know, my wife, she takes the dog out walking at night sometimes, and she throws them on. They're not really made for... You know getting beat up and, and you know they're the cheap ones you buy at like the drugstore or something just just to give your kids so they can have a headlamp on you know the one that i bought at rei that's going to be that's that's a monster and, and plus it's waterproof those those cheap ones you know if they get wet you're done you know so they only you know they cost you know 15 20 bucks maybe 25 dollars but it's still 25 dollars you're gonna throw away Boy, you should see the bugs <laughs> crawling on my phone. The, the gnats are out. So time to turn around. It's going to get dark on me. I'm out here a couple, couple, two, three miles. And uh, give you, let's get you one last view of, of nature here as, a, as the sun sets. And I love the evenings, and that'll tie off this video. Wow, look at all them people. Uh, you can hear here's some fireworks or guns <laughs> around here it's, either one is likely so I got to go back through the mud and uh, that's a good hike I, I probably got about three three or four miles in at least more or more uh, and I just uh, I, I like I said I've been cooped up in the rain and it was just time to get out I, I, and plus I wanted to ride the motorcycle that's one of the things about having a motorcycle if you if you have never never owned one or uh, or you had to sell yours if unfortunately the guy I met he said he had a Harley and he had to sell it to pay his taxes from from Washington State in Seattle <laughs> and I was like well welcome to Florida you don't have no damn personal property taxes here of course you do have a 7% sales tax which hit me hard on that new car man I'm gonna tell you what I, I I didn't like paying those sales taxes. All right, you guys peace out. Happy 4th of July again. Remember it's Independence Day, 1776. There you go. I had a much better view when I wanted to get them on the video on the way back. Boy, I had to hike through some deep grass to get here. I'm glad there was no snakes underneath there. But check those birds out. I can't zoom in, I don't think, on study zoom. But, uh, isn't that cool? I wish I'd gotten him close up. Boy, you see all that jumping around? There must be a lot of fish in here. Ah, man, I wish I had my fishing pole. All right, guys. There you go. We got the birds.